Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. We're looking at today Gargoyle from Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks. Dun dun dun. Series 2, and I believe this is Wave 2 or 2B or 3, I'm not sure, but it's a nice looking figure. And we can see more stuff in the back. And I reviewed dun, 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 all of these except for these two, which aren't released yet. Okay. Okay, so let's have a quick read of the historical documentation. Then we'll open up and look at the figure. So much like the cave and fairies, the gargoyles too have been driven from their natural habitat by the war between the forces of order and chaos. They are savagely protective of both their young and their fairy brethren. Gargoyles are not made of stone, rather they have used incantations and enchantments to camouflage themselves on the battlements of abandoned castles, atop bell towers and in temples. At a glance, it is difficult to tell them apart from a statue. Gargoyles hunt in the dead of night and despise the orcs, blaming them for their dwindling numbers and exile. They are furious opponents when threatened, and humans among whom they dwell have taken a live and let live approach. Having a gargoyle nesting nearby is seen as an omen of good luck, as sightings of orcs are less regular in areas where gargoyles have made their nests. Temporal Log the gargoyles, due to the fact that they are very few, made it to exile safely. Never travel in the. I read that really badly. The gargoyles, due to the fact that they are very few, made it to exile safely. Never travel in the open. Instead, using shadow magic, gargoyles can open portals at clusters of standing stones and travel between these monoliths by tapping into the power of the ley lines that link them, or link many of these sites. Even to this day, the original builders of these megaliths and their true purposes are unknown. Could the gargoyles have created this network in a distant past, or are they just the lucky inheritors of the knowledge of the Standing Stone's true purpose? From the outside, she is a great-looking figure. Uh, she has the same wings as the other fairy. I've forgotten her name, but you can find it in the, my reviews, from what I can tell. I'm not sure there's another set of wings in there, is there? It looks like, yeah, other set of wings as well. I will open this up and have a look. Uh, only thing that seems a bit confusing at the moment is there's also a male head there, but I can't see a male body. It's definitely a female body or a man of boobs. You can put the male head on. So anyway, we'll open this and see. And again, the boss of studios, just put the plastic underneath and you can slide out, keep your card safe, not damage your packaging, and you can uh, take out your figure okay this is an awesome looking figure so let's look here first so yep same as the normal fairy we have two sets of wings so open set of wings this is new oh this is a new weapon a nice club which i think may come apart from the top but I don't want to force it in case I snap it but that is really nice looking and again they've got some good paintwork on there very very nice and then we have a bag and inside the bag there is the foot plate and a spare set of hands with different articulation to the one that come pre-fitted on the figure okay we have a tiny gargle here Really nice sculpt, looks really good. I like that, that is nice. It would have been really good if they actually made a tiny one with articulation going there too, but that cost a fortune in the tooling for it. But that is a nice addition with those little red eyes as well. That's good. Uh, we have a uh, axe, which is quite secure. There we go. With like colored plastic. We've seen something similar or the same before with the other fairy. That is nice looking. We have the male head, which has a broken horn. That is really nicely sculpted again. Then we have the figure, which comes in the female form, and it has the uh, closed wings on the back. Nice figure. So looking around. There's the screw hole, unfortunately, which you can see, you can paint over that. Um, sculpt on the face is actually quite scary, to be fair. 
I hope you can see it's just quite dark. That's a really nice menacing sort of sculpt on the face there. So articulation, no boss fight is really good. Ankles are forwards, backwards, and they uh, have a slight turn. They're not really a side, well, a tiny side to side, not really enough. Legs go nearly full all the way out, so great for Taekwondo, as I keep saying. Uh, double jointed knee joints, so really nice tight bend on the knees there. And they can go 90 degrees or just over forwards. And this one can't really go backwards because of the mold. Okay, the wings obviously is just the moving around independently, can't open enough to change to the other wings, which I'll do for you in a moment. Uh, there is side to side on the waist and forwards backwards, and you can pull it apart by the waist. Uh, shoulders will go up quite high because they're good articulation, looking quite menacing. Single elbow joint, but she does get over 90 degrees. And then we have our hands here. Her hands, I don't think, are articulated on this. No, not that I can see. Let me just check the other hands. Maybe these ones are. But these hands are smaller than regular Boss Fight Studio hands, so if there's no articulation, that would be the reason why. Let's have a look. Okay, so these ones, the spare ones, do this on one, on both, and the ones that come, I can't see articulation, or am I mistaken? Oh no, I'm mistaken. The ones that come do this. Nice looking figure. Let me see if I can quickly swap the head round. Even more scary now, because it's got like a, good grief that is, even more scary. I said it was a man's head, it looks more like an evil woman's head now. So, the other head on there, very easy to swap. The wings you can just pull out from the back. And on the back you see there are, sorry, there are three holes. The outside holes are for the wings. And I can put these other wings in, so I get more of a in-flight uh, look. These wings will be more difficult to pose because they're a lot heavier, but they do have uh, the same articulation. You can do them like this and turn them up as well. But the, again, the weight of the wing means it may, like this one here, it's, like, it's dropping down already. So it's a bit more difficult to pose with these wings. If you're backwards, you're okay, but it's going to really overbalance her. You have to sort of have it going forwards, I wish you'll fall backwards. So other than that loose swing there, but I can put them both down if I want to, like this. Uh, she is a great figure. Easy to balance because she's got quite long sort of bat feet and she does look really, really good. Okay, let's see how well she holds this mace stroke club weapon. So she has got two fingers and a thumb, two toes and a back toe and her feet. But despite that, you should hold the weapon quite easily. You have to bend the fingers out, which I hate doing, so I think always scared of breaking something. But she grips pretty well, to be fair. She is a great looking figure, but I still think I prefer the original head. This one looks too much like a male gargle for my liking. And this one's a bit more, that might be a bit scary. This one's a bit more sinister, or maybe evil is a better word. You give her other weapon, the mace and the axe, and we have a look at that as well. So, because she's like a gargoyle and she's hiding, pretending to be like a statue, the colouring is very easy, just grey, but there is some shading and it does look pretty effective. Looks very, very impressive. She is a great looking figure and will be a great addition to your collection. Fantastic. This is Boss Fight Studio signing out, saying please like, share and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more awesome toy action videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting. Bye-bye.